picks up and they've got a short field they've got another goal it's tied up at 12 i cannot believe what goes. i'm seeing can here. lola dam chase that one down that is a score for hashling and elverkel fantastic run by julia Lutz. we're on a mission to make ultimate huge and we believe that that requires knocking down the payroll we want our videos and live streams to be free to watch and we want them to go viral when you become a member, you enable us to improve our working relationships with tournament organizers, events and federations. And you'll help us to produce live stories for Ultimate fans and to generate new fans with our enhanced content. We, we are, are a group, group of, of Ultimate, Ultimate players, players, coaches and video enthusiasts. And we want to bring you coverage on a more consistent basis. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Ciao ragazzi, support the community. Let's subscribe to Ulti TV. There's lots of the videos, posting, everything. Check it out. <laughs> they are the best one. Woo! If you want to grow Ultimate Sports, uh, become a member of Ulti TV. Regardez Ulti TV. Deviens un membre de Ulti TV et fais grandir ta communauté. Top Ulti TV. Follow me and you'll get me Ultimate of Andromeda. Si quieres ayudar a Ulti TV, puedes ser miembro de Ulti TV. Thumbs up for Ulti TV. Everyone, follow Ulti TV on Instagram, on YouTube. They've got everything. Best like, content. Like their pictures if you love frisbee, just do it. You. We're counting on you. Leave me a love for Ulti TV. Became member of Ulti TV. Mamma <laughs> mia. Contribue au développement d'Ultimate avec Ulti TV. Like and subscribe, Ulti TV, the best in the world. We want to grow Ultimate. We want to grow Ultimate. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We have our signature style two camera setup. With thousands of hours of experience. And our crew is globally dispersed to facilitate coverage everywhere around the world. We can also scale back our broadcast with just one elevated camera. Or scale up with two fields, two cameras and two commentators on each. We work with local teams and we all have the same mission, to grow the sport and bring it to new people by providing live coverage and new stories. Become a member today on our Patreon page. And, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories, ideas and live coverage to the eyes of the ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Right now, he's gonna have to bid. Oh, just a, oh, just a football. <laughs> Huge layout block. Unbelievable stuff on the front corner of the end. Zone. Maybe well. just that boost of energy they needed. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere.
ultimate things in life for free. And we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread Ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Ultimate. We are a group of Ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. We believe mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultiveek.net Enjoying the show? Show your support for the live stream and the people making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world. And share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you. Help us call Electric, become a member. Welcome back to the European Ultimate Indoor Championships 2022 Women's Division here from the BC Zagris Arena. Actually, no, not Arena, Academy. This is where the youth of the local basketball club, of course, in Lithuania, basketball is the big sport. Unfortunately, the local team did not manage to win yesterday, lost in the fourth quarter, lost their lead, but... Uh, Pre-pandemic, this venue hosted over 1,100 youth players in both the boys' and girls' divisions. And, of course, the championship plaques on the wall behind these ultimate games. So, Sweden versus the Ukraine. The Ukrainian team have had an interesting tournament so far. They came out in the first live stream game playing against Lithuania, the top seed in this tournament, with Ukraine coming in seeded eighth of this eight-strong division. And it didn't have the best morning game yesterday. Very different scenes in the second half, in the afternoon. Bit of an afternoon team, they called themselves, but it is just 10 a.m. local time. Yet to have a win. Points difference of minus 16 at the moment, but sat... Currently second in the standings, but only by having, virtue of only having played the three games so far, goals difference of plus 16 are the Swedes. And they are looking in fine fettle. Yesterday had a very tight match against the Netherlands. That one went right down to the wire. Of course, the Swedes, SUFC Valkyria representing alongside Orebro and a couple of other clubs. Coaches on the sidelines with them. See Thomas Eriksson just in the right hand of the shot there. But both Yeklund sisters. Of course, yes, SUFC Valkyria club having taken silver 
at the Indoor Club Championships, the last tournament pre-COVID. Of course, this championship is third times the charm. This is the third at asking. After it was canned by the pandemic, they're trying to have it March this year. But we're delighted to be bringing you it in December. And look at that opening point from the Ukrainian team. Fantastic stuff. The dynamite player, Natalia Patyakina, the number 53, throwing a huge bomb for Nikolenko. So the Ukrainians open us up, one to nothing. And see if they can claim the disc off of the Swedes and get themselves an early lead with the break. Sofia Eklund finds her sister with a big scuba. Hammer over the top, and that is just a beautiful game of throws. Vendela Vitoshin. Clutching that one. And so, an undefendable Ukrainian def offensive point to open, and pretty much the same for the Swedes. Ericsson just giving a couple of words of advice for the D line. Van Eyter. Signals are ready for the pull. And on defence, watch out for number 14. Order Holmlund, great in place, sagging off a little bit there, giving up that break side, the hammer. And once again, the Ukrainians coming out very strong. Well, yesterday they said they were more of an afternoon team, but it seems like they had plenty of breakfast to fire themselves up for this match. 2-1, Ukraine lead over Sweden. And of course, starting out on offense at the beginning of these games does give you that crucial advantage if you just trade out. And the stats leaders with a scuba pull for the Ukraine. And a slentak. Hammer over the top. It's going to be a squeezer. But well kept. Fantastic work. Malin Erlansen. Play it. Who perhaps one might underestimate. It was a close one, but good. Sense and presence of mind to just keep the body well. Sensek to Batu Oh, it's a lovely blade to the back corner but doesn't quite work out. Great effort, Matija Mikolenko. Van to bringing us in. Immediate strike deep, but an errant pass, sails past Tegin. Flick, bladey swing. Well taken. Petrova, Yulia Petrova with a huge, ambitious scuba. The begloved hand makes the catch and it's inbounds just about. Holy heck. Quite a few of the Ukrainian players wearing gloves. And there's been some, uh, some shade thrown on people that wear gloves indoors. But of course, the universal shade is that gloves if you're wearing gloves and you don't catch the frisbee then that's the ultimate shame but this game looking very spicy indeed 3-2 Yeklund's connection dishing Vitorshan on the front corner just grinding up. And that's levelling up at threes. Nice and easy does it. As we say, the Ukrainian team yet to snag themselves a win. If they manage to beat 
Sweden here. This is going to be the upset of the tournament. And at the moment, they're looking pretty darn good, if I say so myself. And since it's just me talking to myself, I do say so. Hi, Paul. Petrova. Flicking across. Oh, but there we go. Oh, the home line with the run through block. We said to look out for her. And she generates some magic. You'd almost see her baiting that one. Reinstrom into home long the bookends for the number 14. Well, there we go. Our first break of the game. And it goes to the Swedes. So now recovery is very important here. How the Ukrainians respond is crucial. And welcome to you. If you're with us today, please do jump into the comments and let us know where you're tuning in from if you're watching this one live. But also welcome to you if you're watching on demand. Ulti TV trying to keep our coverage freely available to watch live and on demand. Thanks to our wonderful patrons. Sunshak. Lovely flat swing across. Nearly the poach off from Holmlund. Squeaking it across the arm of Anita. And there we get the hold. Anna Slensak, the captain, clutching that scuba. Let's tell you. Vatiaknak. With the visionary throw, hitting that break side, but only just about. Threading the disc past the arms of the defenders. So we keep trading after that one Swedish break. But still very much in this. Another big scuba pull. Jeklund. Gitorsen. Bit of dancing in the centre field. Angergård. Streaking up line. Bit of poaching off from the Ukrainians. But just squeaking it towards that back corner. Vendela Viktorsham gets the goal. Just gunning up line. And the Ukrainians getting a chant going. Still very much in this match. The Swedes leading just by one. Of course, they will consolidate that if they can stay ahead coming out on offense in the second half. Should we be happening when this game reaches nine points? Ten minutes expired of these 42 minute games. Oh, beautiful upline stuff. Gains an extra half a meter with the jump. But an errant swing pass. Slenchak. Hormlock underneath. Tegan bounces to the other side. Creeping towards the end zone. It could be just a dish. It is just a dish, but not quite inbounds. Well, inbounds, but not the end zone. Little post through the letterbox or the home long with the assist. And that is a break for the Swedes. Six four now there. They start to open up a little bit of daylight space between them and the Ukrainians. So thus far in the tournament, as you say, Ukraine without a win, they took Latvia 15-14. Coming out on the wrong side of that one. After a 10 point deficit in their opening match. So clearly developing over the course of this tournament. They did lose to Denmark 17-12 in the end after suffering some breaks early on. But an error is going to give the disc to Sweden. The instrum. The block. Firing it across. 
Tejan. Nilsson. Oh, a lovely vision. He shots to the far side. Lisa Ansemeyer, the 13 year old playing for this Swedish side. Notice her by her silvery headband. Star of the future and star of today with plays like that. Fabulous use of the soft side of the pitch. And 7 4. The Swedes extend a little bit more of a lead. Currently, three breaks up off the back of that Ukrainian error. Nice look and good recatch. Great hands from one of the twin sisters on this Ukrainian side. The block is generated and well kept. Erika Nilsson. But a lovely catch. I think that was Iubov Mizura. Both sisters actually on the 96 and 69. Playing defense. Older home long with huge shot over to Van Eyten. Well read. Has one on one isolation but throws it behind the back. Misconnection with Titieris and Olansson, even. High grab attempt doesn't quite get the bounce off the floor. On a slow snack. And another opportunity for the Swedes to. Start to really extend this lead. Arnsmeyer. Oh, but the run through block. Hormlon gets a little taste of her own medicine. Iubov Mizura gets the disc back for the Ukraine. Just hitting that front corner. There's a huge layout, big, great form. Not to injure herself. Lisa Ansmeyer, that youngster, getting feisty, but well collected at the front cone. Lydia Mizura, after the, her sister got the block, gets the assist. No, not the assist, the goal. Put my teeth back in. It's going to be a long day here. But we are delighted to be bringing you, in conjunction with Zoom TV, our fantastic production staff here at this women's division today. Three streams for your viewing pleasure. Mixed and open division action alongside the women's here. You lucky, lucky people. High up line pass. For the lefty, Peterson. Big one across the pitch. And a great bid. And you can hear the enthusiasm from the crowd. So Yekland gets denied by the teeny tiny bouncy player with the huge vertical. Peterson, though, is going to take that. But scoring opportunity away. Yekland hammering over the top in acres of room. Everyone else just trying to play catch up. Vendere Vitorsson with the goal for Sweden, and that is 8 5. So a bit of a discussion there. Not sure what exactly occurred, but uh, both teams happy to call that one the score. And hello to Dimitro, the UFDF president. Supporting 
his home team. So 8-5 the lead for Sweden. Great work in that isolation. Again, a little loss for resets. One's going to have to move soon. In fact, just a points and shoots at Petrova. Oh, and that's a lovely dish. Lentak on the second attempt. That high floaty pass into the end zone. Not too much juice on it. Allowing Slanchak to redeem herself and make the clutch. This is beautiful lead pass execution. Just that little toss on it so it sinks at that back corner rather than zooms straight out of bounds. So delicacy on that throw. Jekland to Jekland. Seems to be how the Swedes are wanting to open up a lot of their offensive possessions in this game. A lovely lefty flick. Vitorsson claims another stat, and that is half time. With just under half of the game expired. 25 minutes and change remaining. And as the players take a brief break, we'll have some pause. So after the half time, a little break for both teams to chat. I'm sure the coaches of the Swedish side would have had many things to say. James Barneville and Thomas Eriksson. We know that the team selection for Sweden was fairly early on. As we said, the it's the third attempt to run this indoor championship. The first of its kind. The maiden voyage. It's been fantastically run so far. Chatting to many of the players. So it's been a wonderful experience. Oh, a lovely lefty flick coming out of the paws of Vitorshan. Finding Sarah Eklund for a nice quiet easy goal the Swedes have been saying about how much they are enjoying playing with each other rather than against each other of course on their local circuit for all of these nations 
Many of the players coming together as teammates have to battle against each other in the local club seasons. Of course, Ukraine, a bit of a younger ultimate nation, whereas this, well, only in compared to the Swedes, been going since the 70s. But this is really nice flow. Big hammer over the top. Matija Nikolienko. It's been very reliable in the end zone for Ukraine. So another opportunity. Lovely blade. Fantastic feet. Natalia Batyanko. Batikina, sorry. She's like a one woman highlight reel. But 7 10, the Swedes are leading. And after this one started so tight, it seems to be relatively smooth sailing. We've been trading out. After that section in the late second half where Sweden just went on a bit of a break run. Vitorsson pops it back. Needs to have a look on the shoulder as she clears out, perhaps. Cheeky scuba over the top. I can't help but call them cheeky. I know it's a verbal tick. But that's a lovely play into space for Sweden. And uh, they now lead 11-7. As time starts to tick away, just shy of 20 minutes remaining of regulation time. If the scoreline is within three... When the time cap goes on, then you can, well, I'll tell you that, when you finish the point after the time cap, if we were within three of your opponents, scoreline-wise, the game continues to the highest score, plus one. But the maximum points cap is 17. And there's still time, potentially, for Sweden to pop another six on the board. But first, I'll have to get the disc off of Ukraine, who are looking pretty good in the later stages of this tournament. After their slow start yesterday. Matikina, perhaps a little bit of a touch there. Hormlong has the discussion, but no call is made. So that disc will come back in a little bit further down. Double cuts under, but good communication. Hormlong with a casual blade toss. Just running the show at the back. Tegin has several cuts up line, clustering each other's space a little bit. Pick call a couple of beats ago. As Ansmeyer. Thinks about that flick. Throws the reset. Hormlung. Nilsson. Oh, a nice shot into space, but already a little bit stumbly. And my. Uh, Extends herself, makes the bid. But all for naught. Shot is fired a little bit too high, even for the great reach. But the Akina. Hormlong, though, also gets overthrown. Probably two of the fastest players on this pitch. But the break around comes, and you can see how much that means to the Ukrainian women. Sunshak 
A little bit of a spike after it. So 11-8. The Ukraine still trails. They haven't managed to get a single break in this game so far. They've been celebrating though and keeping their spirits up and keeping themselves within three of their opponents. Even though it is difficult to stop the Swedes from scoring for several on the bounce. Nice early pass to Eklund. And a straight up give go bish bash bosh. Vitorshan with the goal. On a simple up line. And just trading this out as we go. You see that just coming off the pitch. James Barneville, one of the aforementioned coaches for the Swedish team. Not a very Swedish name, and I can confirm he has a very decidedly British accent. The held it from Schlednack. Oh, my goodness. Playing at the very edges of their offense. Fantastic grab. Marata Klienko. Double gloves makes the clutch grab on the break side. And that is 12 9. We continue to just trade out this second half. There hasn't been a single break since the Swedes started on offense. Coming in from 9-6 to make it 10-6. Vitorsson. Eklund uses the poach in the centre. Erlansson pressed. Puts up a lovely backhand, but there's going to be an accepted stall out. There was a Touch too little too late with Alva Ungergaard. Ungergaard hanging out in that underspace but streaking through. Did you bank up? Blady hammery look. Well knocked out of contention by Vendela Vitorsson. This would have been for the first break to try and nibble away at that four break lead the Swedes open up in the first half. Shout out to Dmitro in the chat. The one-man cheering section for the Ukraine. I'm sure plenty more of you are watching this, though. Fakes faking out our camera ops. Oh, you go. Over the top, Vitorsson. Sachets the shoulder to, no, to signal to her teammates what she wants. Nice blade. Easy backhand dish is set up. Sara Yeklund with the assist after putting in the work to make the grab. And it's the hold for Sweden in the end. After a couple of changes of possession. They keep... Four ahead. And still entirely possible for taking this one to the points cap of 17. 
12 minutes remaining on the clock. Scuba over the top, nice grab from Senshak. Fakes the hammer, has the poach in the centre of the field. Foul called. Nielsen on the mark, accepts it after a brief discussion. Oh, no, take it back, they're still discussing. Looked like there was the signal for... Uh, an accepted foul, of course, those two hands outwards like this. Always got to be careful when you're gesticulating. So, coming in on zero, an accepted foul. So, able to exploit that poach off of Lukashova. But Lukashova with the drop. You can see the hand goes to the mouth there in dismay. Vanaita. Lovely inside backhand shot. Amsmeyer throws into traffic. Bit of a wonky pass, that one. And Ukraine will get the disc back. Vanaita happy to poach off quite far into the deep space. Sunshine coming under. Making up for her earlier mistakes. Diana Mikarsheva. Hits Sunshak. Throws that around backhand and there's the bid. Mahata Nikolayenko. But not quite enough to push yourself towards the disc to make the catch. Hammer over the top for the Swedes. Nice attack from Lukashova. Tejim. Panaita. Scuba swing across. Alonson just squeezes out that around. Tegan. Well, I to Tejim. Going to choose the harder one around, but sneaking towards that front cone. Sunjak gets it back with a catch block. Great coverage on defence, forcing the Ukrainian women to take that poached off reset. Fakes the inside backhand. Going to have to throw something, still count rising. Eventually finds Lukashova. Again, big poached off on the dumps. Big blades though. Heavy collision, Nilsson trying the body defence, but the Ukrainian goal cannot be denied just under that right-hand corner. The stand's getting in the way. But even though we can't see it, we can hear the celebration from the Ukrainian side. Keeping themselves within three. It's a game of inches. Inching our way. Just trading out this second half. There hasn't been a break since Sweden made it 7-4 in the early stages. So and it doesn't feel like Sweden have taken their foot off the pedal. The Ukraine has been testing them. Yeklund. Nice connection. Anjagord. Finding Vitorshan, whose stool count starts to rise higher. Vitorshan 
is just going to go back to that back cone. Doesn't make it. A little hand from Sarah Yeglund, but looked like it was catchable. Although when you're hurtling it full speed towards a concrete wall, it's quite difficult to remember to catch the frisbee. And certainly not the game to be doing that. Just enough of a tip, though. Oliver on you got. Going to throw the assist as well. Beautiful breakside play. Vendela Vitoshan claims another stat for the board. There are no prizes for guessing who the stats leader to the Ukraine might be. But Sweden, a little bit more of a team spreading the love around. With two exceptions, notably. Vendela Vitoshan, who has... 11 assists and 9 goals coming into this game. And Asara Yeklund, who has 9 goals and 5 assists. You can imagine those two have been connecting together quite a lot. And as you would expect, top two stats leaders, Captain Anna Sanchak and Natalia by Dai Ikna, who you just saw make that lovely grab as the isolation play in the side break side space. There's a poach on the handlers, but it's going to be Natalia once more. The trust that they have in that number 53 shirt is huge. But the Akina. Adds another to the tally. So 14-11 with just under five minutes to go. The pace of this game seems to have slowed a bit, taking longer time for either side to score. More turnovers, trading possession. Yeah, Clinton. Scubas to the far side. Vitor Shon adds another. Can't help but feel those two have connected like that many times so far in this tournament and will again. So 15 11 now. Potential chance for the Swedish D line to come out and close this one up early if they can get two blocks. But the Ukrainians have found their mojo this morning. Not, not waiting till the afternoon to show us exactly what they can do. A bit of a collision there. Van Nauta. Matiakina. Thankfully, everyone seems to be absolutely fine. Just a bit of a bump. Again in that isolated space. Throws a huge blade over the top of the pack. Maita Nikolayenko again, the favoured target. A safe pair of hands indeed. Goes up strong over the top, roofing Filipa Rienström. And the Ukrainians will not go down to a 17 point cap in this match. Or at least they'll try not to. They've had two ones that have gone to the full 17 stretch versus Lithuania and Denmark. But the Danish game went to almost full time, I think. My memory serves. A lot of games yesterday. 12 straight hours. Vitor Schumnau. Pops back and trots away. Yeklund. Swinging. On your goal. A 
Yeklund down the line. The continuation timing is perfect. Vitorshan claims another goal. And the Swedes are within one point of the victory. So this one will indeed go the full stretch to 17. But using almost every minute of regulation time available to them, plus possibly a little extra, depending on what the defensive unit can do. This D-line for Sweden has been capable of generating quite a lot of blocks, not always the most efficient converting them. But when you play on the D-line, Jekna is thrown a little too low from Sanchak. So this to close the game and see themselves securely into semi-finals. The hand block is there. Lukashova stealing the disc away, denying the easy Swedish break. Martin Smyer going to have to take on Yulia Petrova. I want Slenshak, the distributor for this Ukrainian side. Sitting on the break side. Yakina comes under but gives up position to Homlung. The Enstrom. Getting us underway, firing it down this near sideline. Arnsmeyer. This is the home run. The end's done now. There's space available, but a little bit too late seen. Oh, and that's going to finish us off just after the hooter goes. Game, set and match. Sweden 17, the Ukraine 12. A lovely way to finish it off. Lisa Adensmeyer, the 13-year-old, collecting the goal that will see Sweden into the semi-finals. Their opponents yet to be determined. But we will bring you all of the women's division games here today at this European Ultimate Indoor Championships 2022. Coming up in our next game, we have what promises to be hope. Well, a thrilling match. We're going to have Latvia versus Great Britain. The other quarterfinal of the second finisher versus third finisher. So on paper should be a quite a close scoreline. But that will wrap us up for the highlights of this game. Stay tuned and we'll see you for more women's division on the other side.